hammers up everyone tally here battle for azeroth alpha more class coverage today we are going over elemental and enhancement shamans um shamans as i like to say it on my stream lots of good changes to enhancement and elemental um i think you guys out there who uh delve in the shaman ways will like them uh some may not always as always leave your uh you know your thoughts and feedback uh, for Blizzard in the comments, and as always, this is all subject to change. So this is not, this was only like the second week of uh, changes to talents and abilities, and uh, you know, attack power converting and weapon damage being taken out, kind of shit uh, to the alpha. So let's go ahead and dive right into enhancement here. Uh, you're gonna see that we have a tone of mastery now um, as enhancement. Uh, you got your Resonance, which generates one Maelstrom every one second. Storm, which increases the damage of Storm Strike by 5%. Ember Totem, uh, increases Lava Lash damage by 5%. And Tailwind Totem, which increases your chance to trigger Wind Fury by 5%. Um, in the second tier here, you have Ancestral Guidance added with a 2-minute cooldown. For the next 10 seconds, 20% of your damage and healing is converted to healing on up to 3 nearby injured party or raid members. Um, this sounds like this used to be a... Legendary, but you can correct me on that. Now, in the third tier, you got your Spirit Wolf, which is while transformed into a Ghost Wolf, you gain 5% increased movement speed and 5% damage reduction every one second, stacking up to four times. Uh, Earth Shield is back. I like it. I've always been an Earth Shield fan as a tank, so fuck yeah. Uh, protects a target with a Earthen Shield, healing them for 207 when they take damage, nine charges. Uh, this heal uh, can only occur once every few seconds. Earth, and, uh, Earth Shield can only be placed on one target at a time. Uh, we have Static Charge, which reduces the cooldown of Capacitor Totem by 5 seconds uh, for each uh, enemy it stuns. That's pretty damn awesome. Up to a maximum reduction of 20 seconds. Now, for here, we used to have Lightning Surge Totem. So, pretty much, I think they just renamed it to Capacitor Totem, which is summons a totem at the target location that gathers uh, electrical energy from the surrounding air and then explodes at the 2 seconds to stun all enemies within 8 yards for 3 seconds. So, I'm assuming you, you spec in the static charge here, and once you bust out this capacitor totem, um, if it hits, um, you know, um, you know, like, wait, five, four, four members, <laughs> it'll reduce the cooldown by uh, 20 seconds there, which is not that bad. I'm bad at math, bro. What can I say? I failed it in high school. I'm ignorant. Uh, so, yeah, so capacitor totem, which was previously lightning surge totem, is now just base uh, for shaman, uh, which is good. Um, now, in the fourth tier, you have your Ancestral Swiftness, which is, from what I've heard, always the go-to, which is uh, increases haste by 6%. You still got your Hailstorm, uh, Hailstorm and you still have your Lightning Shield. Um, and in the fifth tier here, which is, I, I believe, yeah, this is like all new, what I'm looking at here, besides Overcharge. I'm looking for Elemental Spirits. I can't find that one anywhere on live. Uh, elemental Spirits. Your Feral Spirits will be imbued with Fire, Frost, or lightning enhancing your abilities. Once again, if, this, if any of these are legendaries turned pa uh, talents, let me know. But that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have Wind Fury Totem. Yeah. Yeah, y'all just got a chubby. Uh, half my chat got a chubby once I said Wind Fury Totem. Uh, it's a one minute cooldown. Drop a Wind Fury Totem at your side, enhancing the next 20 auto attacks of all allies within 20 yards to deal an additional 762 physical damage to the target. Very cool. And what was taken out looks to be Empowered Storm Slash and Tempest. Now, let's go into the sixth tier here. Uh, Crashing Storm, still there. Fury of Air, still there. And Sundering, still, air, uh, still there. Now, except Sundering uh, used to do a knockback. Now, it does not knockback anymore. So, um, it'll just be like straight in the line, just does the damage. And uh, it incapacitates any enemy hit for two seconds, which is kind of cool because, like, people hated doing uh, specking into Sundering for any kind of dungeon because it would just, like, knock back the ads and, you know, melee bitch at you and, like, stop knocking, keep them all together. You know, that's why Fury of Air exists. Uh, and the last tier here, we have Boulder Fist, Earth and Spike, and uh, Ascendance, which I believe none of them have changed uh, by looking at uh, all the tool tips here. Now, let's take a look at your uh, spell book. Uh, you still got your uh, Ancestral Spirit, um, Farsight, Astral Shift, 40% uh, damage reduction for 8 seconds. You still got your Bloodlust, baby. Can't get rid of that. Uh, I talented into Feral Lunge because I love the way it looks. Still got your Feral Spirits. Once again, Capacitor Totem. Now just Baseline for Shaman. 
Um, people tell me never use frost band, so I don't. You got your purge, you got your rock biter, you got your healing surge, you got your hex, storm strike, lava lash, totem mastery. <gasps> Tremor totem. Yes. <laughs> Tremor totem is back. I believe this is actually base for all shamans as well. We'll take a look at elemental in a second. One minute cooldown. Summon an earth totem with five health at the feet of the caster that shakes the ground around it for 10 seconds, removing fear, charm, and sleep effects from party and raid members within 30 yards. Uh, I've already encountered a few bosses in just the first two dungeons where this would be an effective uh, ability to use, and I don't think they ever should have gotten rid of it. That's my opinion. Uh, and then you have your wind shear. And then here we go. You have your wind fury totem as a talent. Um, let's go over the passage real quick in case anything might have changed there. Your auto attacks and wind fury attacks generate five uh, maelstrom. That's maelstrom weapon. Uh, your enhanced elements, your mastery, increases your chance to trigger Stormbringer and Wind Fury by 2.26%, uh, and increases all fire, frost, and nature damage you deal by 56.4%, based on my stats, obviously. Uh, reincarnation, that's your Ankh. Uh, static charge reduces the cooldown, uh, the capacitor totem. Uh, that's the one that we just uh, specced into. Uh, Stormbringer, uh, which is your weapon attacks have a... 7.3% chance to reset the rate and cooldown on Storm Strike and cause the next Storm Strike to cause 50% less Maelstrom and trigger no cooldown. That's that little, your proc on your Stormbringer there. Uh, Storm Lash, uh, while your weapons are enhanced, your attacks uh, have a chance to grant Storm Lash uh, to up to two party or raid members for eight seconds, causing attacks and spell cast to deal additional nature damage. And then when Fury is a passive, uh, each of your main hand attacks has a 22% chance to trigger two extra attacks, dealing 190 physical damage. Uh, damage each. Now, don't forget, on any of these passes, pa passes, passes could change at any time, uh, especially now that you have Wind Fury Totem as an actual talent. Some of this might change. Who knows? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the you know comments. Obviously, what you think about enhancement right now. Um, visually, I don't think there's really much to show. Here's the uh, to uh, the Totem Mastery, or yeah, there you go. And then here's your Wind Fury Totem. Uh, okay, well, it's over here in inside of this one. God damn it. Um, I like, you know, I like Enhancement. I've, I've always been a fan of Enhancement. Um, I, I, th I thought it's always been a really cool, fast-paced uh, melee DPS to run here. There you go. Mm. Storm Strike, baby. Get some of that. Uh, get some of that air. Oh, you died pretty quick. Yeah, they're doing a lot of damage right now. Doing a lot of DPS. Now, what I want to do real quick is spec into that uh, Feral Spirits um, talent. But I can't now because... Let me see. Can I spec into it? Uh, Spirit Wolf? Yeah. Where... Um, no, no, not Spirit Wolf. What am I doing? Um, Elemental Spirits. That's the one. Oh, god damn it. When Fury Totem's on cooldown. All right, when that gets off a of cooldown, we'll try that again. But uh, so far, liking the enhancement uh, changes. Um, I like the addition of the totems. That's pretty cool. Kind of makes you feel more like a, you know, more like a shaman. Uh, looks like all the totems that you were using uh, as enhancement right now in Legion weren't really exciting. It's more just like CC and vo what, what do we have? Earth Grab Totem, Voodoo Totem. Like all these here are actually like, you know, beautiful and offensive. Oh, God, what did I just do? I got, I, 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 yep, fat fingered that one. Fat fingered that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do a dungeon as enhancement on my next stream. This seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. I covered this very early in the first day of Alpha, so I didn't get a chance to actually uh, test it out in dungeons or anything like that. All right, so once uh, Feral Spirits comes off cooldown, I want to see if there's any animation for this, uh, uh, for uh, Elemental Spirits here. But uh, one thing that I do like about Enhancement that they kept was Feral Lunge. I heard that was something they were talking about trying to take out of the Enhancement Arsenal, and I, I was hoping they wouldn't do that, and they didn't, which is good. And also Fury of Air. Um was really OP during the Legion Alpha, but I kind of, I, I like it the way it's used right now. It seems like you always just keep it up the entire time. Uh, you experts out there would know best. All right, let's switch it up here. Uh, where is my Tome of Tranquil Mind? Thank you, Blizzard, for finally giving us about a thousand of those so we can use them. All right, here we go. So your, your Feral Spirits will be imbued with Fire, Frost, or Lightning, and enhance your abilities. I still wonder what they mean by that, but we'll see. Where's that Raptor? Come here, Raptor boy. Come here, Raptor boy. All right. Uh, damn. Did they? Did they? Maybe, did they look different? There you go. It's a barrel lunge. 
They look all kinds of enhanced. And there we go. And that's uh, basically, you know, kind of damaging what it looks like when you pop out your uh, your feral spirits. Okay, so let's now go into the world of elemental shamans. Let me get to a safe spot again so I don't get uh, auto attacked while we're trying to finish this video up. Do, 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 do. All right, elemental. Now, Ellie Shaman, I'm I'm terrible at. Now, I'm terrible at all DPS, but Elemental Shaman, I'm particularly terrible at. So, um, you're probably going to get a lot of uh, gaps and holes. That's what she said. Um, in my Elemental coverage here. So, Elemental. Let's take a look at the uh, the first row here. So, as you can see, uh, Totem Mastery and Earth and Rage are still around. But now you have Molten Fury. Uh, lava Surge now also causes Lava Burst to generate 50% more Maelstrom. In your second tier, um, you have Volcanic Rage, Elemental Mastery, and Aftershock, which I think both of Aftershock and Elemental Mastery were in the 60 tier. Now they're up here. But now you have Volcanic Rage. You're up a volcano under your target's location, causing 2,500 fire damage to all enemies within 8 yards and applying Flame Shock to all targets hit for 12 seconds, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, let me see if I can show you a little bit of what it looks like. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, wow, that's a, that's like so cool. Because when I play Elemental Shaman, I'm like, man, I got to flame shock all these targets, man. What the hell? Let's see. Let's cast some lightning bolt real quick. All right, now where do I have it? Okay, let's get up here, big boy. Get up here, big boy. And there's Volcanic. Basically what it looks like. It looks like that ability that, um, that, uh, whatchamacallit, I have. What am I doing? That, uh, mages have. The, fuck, I forgot what, Flame Strike? It looks like the Flame Strike animation, really. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, doing my thing here. Instant, instant, sweet. All right, uh, then you still have Spirit Wolf, Earth Shield, and Static Charge. Uh, that hasn't changed from what we just discussed earlier with Enhancement. Uh, for the 60 talents, you have Echo of the Elements, Storm Elemental, and Elemental Blast. Now, Echo of the Elements is a little bit changed here. Lava Burst uh, now has two charges. Uh, other effects that reset its remaining cooldown will instead grant one charge. Now, Storm Elemental is also a bit different from what uh, you have on live. Uh, two and a half minute cooldown or 2.5 minute cooldown uh, calls forth a greater storm of elemental to hurl gusts of wind that damage the shaman's enemies and generate maelstrom for the shaman for 30 seconds. While the storm elemental is active, each time you cast lightning bolt or chain lightning, the cast time of lightning bolt and chain lightning is reduced by 3%, stacking up to 20 times. So that's, uh, that's pretty... Pretty good there, because that's definitely not what it has on live. Uh, Elemental Blast, um, I believe, is the same there. Uh, and, it, you know, it'll, let's see. Harness the raw power of the elements, dealing 1,900 elemental damage and increasing your critical strike haste or mastery uh, by 91 for 10 seconds. Now, in your tier 75, you have Nature's Guardian, which is new. Uh, Seismic Armor, which I don't see anywhere, so that's new as well. And Ancestral Guidance, which is also an enhancement. But for Nature's Guardian, uh, attacks that bring your health below 30% increase your maximum health by 25% for 10 seconds. Cannot occur more than once every 30 seconds. I kind of like how they're bringing a little bit of survivability to Shamans. Because when I leveled as a Shaman, I felt like I was squishy as fuck without, like, Best in Slot, Draenor gear. So, And then uh, Seismic Armor, targets affected by your Earthquake deal 20% less damage to you. Uh, and the uh, Tier 690... We have High Voltage, Primal Elementalist, and Liquid Magma Totem. Now, Liquid Magma Totem and Primal Elementalist uh, exist already in the game. Uh, those have not changed. Just uh, triple quadruple checking for you here. Bad memory, bad memory. Uh, but High Voltage, Lightning Bolt, now can cause a second elemental overload. Which is pretty awesome. Um, and then, last but not least, in your seventh tier... Uh, level 100, you still have your Ascendants, uh, but you now have uh, Electric Discharge, which increases the bonus damage of Lightning Bolt from uh, Fulmination by 20%. And then you have Storm Keeper, which I think that was your Artifact Weapon Ability, if I remember correctly, because it sounds familiar. Uh, charge yourself with Lightning, causing your next two Lightning Bolts or Chain Lightnings to be instant cast and trigger an Elemental Overload on every target. So that's Elemental for you. Let's take a look here. Uh, once again, you'll see a lot of these. Still got your frost shock. You got frost shock here, which was that there? Did you guys have frost shock? I thought frost shock got taken out. No, it's there. It's there. You got that at what level thirty? It's uh, thirty-eight. It says here. There's your stormkeeper, your purges, um, your uh, thunderstorm. 
Um, which is uh, already there as well. Making sure Thunderstorm hasn't changed at all for y'all. Okay. Uh, Tremor Totem. Awesome. There's Volcanic Rage. Your Water Walking Wind Shear. Elemental Fury. Uh, your passive here. Your damaging critical strikes deal 250% damage instead of the usual 200. Epicenter. Which is... Uh, and I couldn't find this on live. So this could be a new passive epicenter. We'll read it anyway. Uh, each target hit by uh, Chain Lightning increases the damage of your next Earthquake by 20% and reduces the cast time of your next Earthquake by 20%. Could be a, Le could be a Lego. Fulmination, when, you're, when you Earthshock a, a target, every 25 Millstrom you have up to 75 will cause the target to take an additional 100% damage from Lightning Bolt. Lava Surge, your Flame Shock damage over time has a 10% chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Lava Burst and cause your next Lava Burst to be instant. Uh, and then there's the Elemental Overload, which uh, synergizes a lot with your talents and Elementals as Shaman. Your Lightning Bolt, Elemental Blast, Chain Lightning, and Lava Burst uh, casts have a 51.4% chance to trigger a second cast on the same target for 85% of normal damage and 75% of normal Maelstrom generation. And then your uh, Ankh there. So that's uh, Enhancement Elemental. I know it's a lot to take in, and I'm, you know, I'm not the best at explaining everything for DPS, but I just want to just, you know, these videos are meant for the purpose of showing you guys uh, what the new abilities and new talents are. Now, if I missed anything, once again, put it in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are enjoying all the videos. Um, as always, I'm always trying to step up my YouTube game or trying a little bit harder to explain things better. And as time goes on, you know, and obviously I've had seven years already, but in terms of YouTube, it, it's a little different, man. It's like recording. You got to stop, record, stop, record. You know, and I, I hate doing the whole drafting thing. Like, if I make a mistake while I'm making a video, I'm just not like, ah, oh, shit, I just recorded for 20 fucking minutes. Now I got to stop. Fuck that, dude. You know how I roll. So thank you all for watching. Um, come on down to twitch.tv slash Taolit right down there. And uh, come watch me uh, do some alpha. We're still playing Legion. Still doing my 15s every week to get my uh, weekly 985 chest. I say 985, so hopefully it brings me luck. Um, we're at the we're at that point of the expansion where we're at toward at the end here. So I'm doing a lot more mount farming and doing more activities with the stream. We're going to be doing more and Taurus runs, uh, boosting characters to 110, leveling up our allied races. Um, lots of stuff is going on, but thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Peace out, and Papa bless the shamans. I like these glasses. I like them. Someone says I look like Ali G, and I'm just like Tally G. Never watched the show. Is it good? I don't know. Whatever. Bye.